Hey, hey, Cancer. Thanks for stopping by. Happy September. I'm Madeline, if we haven't met before. And if you've been here before, you're the best. All right. Cancer, Spirit has a lot to say to you this month. You had a couple of jumpers, um, and I accidentally saw, because I try to stay totally unbiased, like right up until the moment when we get on camera together, uh, but I accidentally saw that two of those jumpers made it into your readings. So... Yeah, Spirit's got some stuff to say. I said we were going to dive. Let's dive. Okay. Okay. Dive. Interesting. So here's one of those jumpers, Seven of Cups, right across the center. Well, you're a cuppy. You're a cuppy one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. You're taking something really cool on. And some of you may feel like it's cooler than others, but this looks pretty... Ooh. So yeah, some of you are going to find out. Oh, I love that. Wow. Wow. Cancer. Seize the day in September. You are taking on something, like I was saying, really, really kind of... If, okay, so... Full disclosure, it feels kind of like massive. It's like, this is this is an undertaking. This is gonna require balance and balance needs to be the theme for you in September. He who chases two rabbits catches none. He who chases seven is just asking to fall over exhausted and, you know, starve. So, <laughs> you are a dreamer. Cancer, you're a water sign, and being a dreamer is one of your best gifts, and I'm hearing that for a lot of you, it's absolutely going to serve you in this project that you're taking on, that you are a dreamer, because for a lot of you, this is something, um, if not if not creative, it is connected to your soul. Like, one way or another, it's creative in the sense that, like, I feel a spark, a light inside, whether you're, like, a political activist or uh, in theater. You know what I mean? Okay, there's like a shady joke to be made there about how aren't those the same thing? And I couldn't resist. Okay, but we're moving on, cats. That has nothing to do with you. That's just me being, you know, that's just a little bit of sweet catharsis on a September day. Okay, back to you, Cancer. Um, getting your life into good order seems like it's going to be, um, I'm not going to say essential, but I'm going to say highly beneficial to your success. And you do have great cards for success. So make no mistake, like Spirit is not giving you any kind of divine spanking. This is a month where they're giving you um, just some helpful advice. You've got a lot on your plate, a lot on your mind, a lot you want to do. And right now it's kind of like you're looking at all of it at once. And... Um, one thing at a time. That's very simple, but it's true. You know what I mean? Like, you want to do a lot of things. We, and, and we, we have to do a lot of things, especially like as we move further, further into this, in, into the future. It's like we're expected to think about more, process more, complete more. Um, and if you're going to take this heartfelt journey all the way and discover how masterful you can be, it's important that you kind of keep things in order. Okay, that's what they were saying. Like, I don't want to say it's essential, but I almost want to say it's essential. Like, when am I going to do these things? Like, not just, I would like, and I would like, and I would like, and I think, and I wonder, but, okay, when and how? And if as you're laying out, you know, let's just say in like Google Calendar, okay, so I'm saying I want to block off this much time for my health and this much time for this hobby and this much time for my social life and da 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 da, -da and this is how much I work and this is the da 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 What can I actually do? 
and it's not a grim thing. Like I said, I see success here. I see the potential for building something that is actually like setting you up for longer term success as well. Like a feeling of accomplishment in September, but beyond is what I'm feeling for a lot of you is like the completion of this or the, the completion of the first, you know, leg of the relay race is a harbinger of what's to come. So, if as you're doing that, you see that realistically a few of those things have to fall off, that's not a failure. That is prioritizing. So prioritizing is important, making strategic decisions about what you want to, where you want to pour your soul and what you want to allow into your life is now something that Spirit is saying for some of you. So as you know, Cancer, these are general readings and I'm getting a couple different messages. So for some of you, this is, um, whew, there is something around new waves of emotion coming into your life, new um, partnership, new allyship. Um, for some of you, it's as sweet and simple as like, I have a crush on a new person or my kind of budding relationship is continuing to like grow and inspire me. And for others of you, this is like, a really, like I said, an allyship, a partnership. There's, there's something interesting about the interplay between justice and then the two of cups. Like maybe for some of you, it's like, okay, to really get all this done, to really master all the things I want to do in my life, I need a partner. And take partner all the many different ways that can be meant. It's funny, but like I'm saying that because spirit was like, yeah, seventh house, which is in astrology, the house of partnerships, which is classically known as like the marriage house. For, so for some of you, this could be your spouse. This could be your uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, partner. And for others of you though, it could be, oh, I'm the director. This is my producer or what have you, like whatever relationship that is kind of symbiotic and wonderful and like, you know, maybe I'm the artist and they're the manager or vice versa. You know what I mean? Because like, ooh, I can't do what they do and they can't do what I do. But when we come together, what we create is amazing. So it feels like there's something really important about linking up and sorting out. Um, I feel that you're already doing a really pretty good job, Cancer, of following your heart, your soul, your intuition. The hermit is sitting in the past that you've been doing deep reflection. You've probably been spending, uh, like this is what I'm hearing, and I don't always hear this with the hermit, but like you have been spending a lot of time by yourself. Generally, the hermit doesn't have to mean being alone, like not being by yourself, but being more with yourself, but this is both. It's like, oh my gosh, I've been seeking and seeking and seeking this. And September feels, it feels like the timing is portentous. Like, it's autumn, right? We're on the edge of the, the, the change of the season. And something is shifting into gear for you. Something is metamorphosizing for you. Something is going to become clearer to you also as you bounce it off another person. Um, and I'm honestly hearing, go all in. Go all in. And you know it's an undertaking, so I'm not going to mince words about that. You know it's going to be a lot. You know you're taking on a lot, Cancer, but that's also what you tend to do. But like I said, on the other side of the Ten of Wands is the King of Freaking Cups, is you, King of Water. And you can identify any which way, gender-wise, when, when you come in as a king or a queen, the difference is more personality. Kings are conquerors, managers, you know, like leaders, whereas the queens are the, the creators, the nurturers, the those that, that bring things into life and make them flourish, right? And then the king kind of manages what the queens are able to create. So you're moving into a phase of your life where it's about control and managing your talents, your resources, yourself. Managing yourself is important, going all in. The fool. The fool is where you find yourself. So, hey, this is funny, but Spirit just said this. Look, some of you don't. <laughs> you don't know how much you're taking on. Like, oh my God, like, I didn't know that it was going to be this intense. 
And that's what I'm hearing is intense. This is putting you through something. This is upgrading you and your skills. This is taking you to a place where you're forced to kind of go deep, right? King of Cups. Like, I, this is bringing out the best in me. You know what I mean? Like, so this isn't Ten of Swords. This isn't like horrible circumstances. This is tough circumstances. This is like... This is like, damn, I thought we were done and we're not done. This is funny, but this is what Spirit said, maybe because some of you are moving in September or moving like as I make this video. But they're like, you know, it's like, it's kind of like when you're moving, where it's like, oh my God, you know it's going to be a big undertaking. You, you've moved before, you know it's a pain in the ass, but the time that you move again, you're like, oh my God, like I thought everything was out of the house and there's still these boxes, right? You know what I mean? It feels like there's always one more thing. And that's kind of what they're saying. So don't be afraid of that it's worth it and using the phrase don't be afraid is important because in the key slash conclusion portion of your reading we have the eight of swords clarified by the sun now remember spirit had picked the number of cards that they wanted for you beforehand so i didn't like pull the sun to clarify the eight of swords they were like this is the story that we want to tell you eight of swords is don't let your fears and this is what they're saying, preconceptions about the past, especially as they relate to you and your abilities and your, like, uh, methods. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't reference the past as, as a, a barometer for the present. This is a time to transcend your fears. This is not a time to be held back by your insecurities. This is a time to test them. And, and that's the thing. It's funny. This is what Spirit is showing me is, like, like dipping a toe in the water like it's time to just go all in like it's not going to get any less cold if you have to get in the water one way or another if what you really want to do if you're super hot and like it's it's a like beautiful day outside but it's really hot and there's a beautiful stream right in front of you and you really want to get in but you know it's kind of cold and that for a few minutes it's going to be like it's really cold but i really want to get get in dipping your toe and checking if it's cold you know it's cold get in like, you're going to feel better. It's going to be refreshing. The sun, the, again, it's very, it's really like a pretty great correlation. Ten of Wands to, to King of Cups, Eight of Swords to the sun, a feeling of mastery, a feeling of, I get it, a feeling of, this is what this was for. I see it. I see where it's going I can, so I can go. Like, if I know where this is, what this is all for, and that it's worth it, and that, again, coming back to the beginning of what they were saying about, but when are you going to do it? that there's a strategy in place, a scaffolding, right? Then I know I can build it. If I put up the right scaffolding, I can build this. I can make this what I want it to be. I can make my life into something that I like, even if the journey is intense, even if it is tough, even if my passion does threaten to burn me out sometimes because I burn so bright. If I build the scaffolding, if I keep these containers, if I keep myself safe and balanced, sleeping enough, drinking enough, eating the right kind of food to, to energize myself for the great deeds I want to do, and possibly the love that I want to enjoy. I want to come back to this briefly, Cancer, and forgive me if you've heard me say anything like this before, Cancer, but I always feel like when I talk about love, <sighs> You know, I'm here for the for the ethics, Cancer, and I know how how much love matters to pretty much all of us, right? Like, and so I'm I'm very hesitant to talk about love in in general readings. In personal readings, is a totally different story because it's like that's your love life. But in a general reading, I very rarely bring up love unless spirit is here with like a sledgehammer and like many different cards saying like hey this is relationship stuff this is love stuff for some of you there is a new love or like a renewal an increase there's blessings and exchange and sweetness here like harmonious partnership um again there, as I say that, directing my eye to the King of Cups, saying this is part of your, this is part of your upgrade, your journey, your graduation, your deeper understanding, deepening your well to draw from. This partnership, this love, this allyship or friendship, is part of that, and it is unmistakably a blessing. So I'm going to add the quick caveat that saying this is wonderful and this is a blessing. For some of you, the blessing can be 
oh, this isn't necessarily meant to last forever, but like I really learned this about myself, or like we did this wonderful project together and then we were done and we parted ways or whatever. That's a beautiful thing too. It feels divinely appointed. That's what they're saying. So in whatever form, a wonderful one-on-one -on -one kind of allyship, friendship, partnership, coupleship is coming into your life. It looks good. It looks like it serves your growth, but also just brings joy and sweetness and, and balance. Yay! Balance in September. Maybe get yourself a day planner, Cancer. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Let me lay this out in color-coded glory so I can know what I'm doing. Something to think about. I love you, Cancer. You tell me. Uh, what's going on? Does any of this resonate with you? You want to tell a story? You want to help a fellow Cancer out by asking a question? Let me know. I love you guys. I hope that this is like <sighs> affirming and activating and reassuring above all that you're on path. Um, you've been looking deep and I encourage those of you who feel like you haven't been looking deep to look deep. This looks really good. It looks like something beautiful could come out of your willingness to see, to rearrange some things and to commit. All right. Love you, Cancer. Thank you for listening. And if I don't see you in another video before then, I hope I see you in the October reading. Bye, Cancer.